Breathing in standing position. Breathing in rifle shooting is a tense affair. It regulates several areas that are crucial for a clean shot. First of all, breathing takes care of the energy balance. Oxygen is taken in and carbon dioxide is released to ensure that muscles and nerves are adequately supplied. Breathing further provides the structure and the rhythm for the movements during the shot. The filling of the lungs determines the height of the gun. The rhythm of inhaling and exhaling controls the pass to the firing position and back. The third task of breathing is to regulate arousal. Leisurely breathing dampens the pulse and muscle tension. This helps to cope with critical moments in the competition. Successful standing shooting and competition is closely intertwined with correct breathing. It is therefore worthwhile to learn the basic rules of breathing. Above all, you should train them systematically. Breathing is an important and interesting detail of rifle shooting in standing position. First of all, breathing is responsible for oxygen energy in your body. It gives you the air for your muscles, for your blood, for your eyes and not last not least for your brain. For this reason we uh, take a look on the way uh, of the air. There is two, one through your nose, the other one through your mouth and we can say that the nose under all circumstances is the better way. If you breathe through your nose, this gets automatically slow and rhythmic. If you breathe through your nose, you clean and warm up or cool down the air. So nose breathing is the best and only way for the rifle shooter. The other question is the way we bring the air into our lungs. There is two ways. One is using the chest. So if we inhale over the chest, uh, we bring a lot of air in a short time into our lungs. And this is something we really don't need. So the other way is to breathe uh, over our stomach. Uh, here we use the diaphragm to move up and down and this again is the better, the slower, the more rhythmic way to breathe in standing position. So standing shooter breathes through his nose and over his stomach. Breathing and movements. Your movements during the shot are closely intertwined with your breathing. When the rifle is raised, air is taken in because the upper body expands. When lowering, the air slowly falls out. How deep the muscle sinks is regulated by the gentle release of the breath. Beginners have to learn this with difficulty, for expert, it happens by itself. Shona breathes in a little deeper when writhing the rifle and then guides it vertically to the target. She then looks over the sight to aim at an exact fixing point. She breathes flat across her belly. This stabilizes the position and lowers the pulse. Then the eyes is lowered to the diopter. Now breathing stops. 
Nevertheless, some air still flows out, which gently lowers the muscle to the center. The last centimeters to the middle are managed by the weight of the gun and further relaxation of the upper body. In the meantime, the pulse rate continues to drop because breathing is at rest. One second after the release, the weapon is raised with an inhalation and guided back onto the tree pot. The accurate guiding to the center and the lowering of the pulse rate are very much determined by the breathing. Let the air flow out gently until the side reaches the center. Psychoregulation. What is studied in training has to prove itself in competition. When it comes down to it, you should consciously breathe more slowly and insert a few flat breaths. These extensions will bring you to your usual tension. Your pulse rate takes much longer under pressure to get down to the usual resting rate for aiming and release. Professionals are regularly under increased tension and are therefore familiar with this slowing down. Additional shallow breaths and consciously slow exhalation are the decisive tools for managing the excitement in competition. Those who want to know more and are looking for suitable exercise will find them in our book on the psyche of shooting.